Hey everyone, welcome back. So this took about 20 hours to assemble. <laughs> um, that is not an exaggeration. This took forever. Um, but today we're going to be looking and comparing all of the, well, the three generations of the main ghouls that have gotten like an iteration throughout the generations, except for Gulia and Torlai, who are not in G2 um, for the most part. I think Torlai got one doll, one or two. Um, but I don't have them because I sold them. <laughs> and they just did away with Gulia altogether and made Monica. So, eh. Never um, yeah. So, uh, disclaimer, this is a channel for adult collectors. And we're here to have fun with other adult collectors. Yep. Um, so, there's your warning. And we're going to start over here with Claudine. Um, Claudine looks drastically different yeah. in every single uh, generation. generation. Um, we're going to pick our favorites, too, from, uh, the generations. Obviously, in Dead Last would be Generation 2. Yep. Uh, this outfit just isn't giving anything but ugly. Yeah. Um, like, the pants are so unfashionable. The shirt. I don't mind the little, like, bolero jacket thing. Yeah, that's a cute idea. It's just an ugly version of her signature thing, yeah. though. So, it's just like, um, I think the problem with G2 is that they didn't go different enough. No. It was just kind of like... It was way too similar. Too similar, but also like... Not looks, a good way. Yeah. They took away all the fun things from G1. Like, if they were going to redo it, they should have called it, like, Monster Junior High or something, because they look so young. Yeah, all the all the faces were kind of wrong. Yeah. So, uh, Claudine... Signature Claudine is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, the outfit's a little... It's I a choice. I changed the color of this top. Yeah. I think other than that, I really adore her entire outfit. And, like, G2's not wearing any makeup, like, at yeah. all... Uh, G3 has, like, the added stuff for, like, the glasses, and she's a little freckles, bit more nerdy. Uh, the added hairs, freckles, the nose. Baby hairs. The baby hairs are a definite must. Mm -hmm. um, she also has things that I really liked that they did with Generation 2, which was the sculpted fur mm -hmm. on the ankles and on the wrist, so I do appreciate with that. The, with the new face tufts, too. Yeah, so I love the little face the tufts. Uh, their hair story definitely changed. Like, this is... Drastically. Dr between like, dolls. Look, this is, I think, my favorite. I think, in general, G3 Claudine is my favorite in terms of face. But in terms of look, I'm going to go G1. G1. I'm going G1 both. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then here we have Draculara, um, whose second doll's kind... Uh, gener whose Generation 2 doll is just... What is that? It's like a vacant baby doll. Like, what? I used to be like a G2 apologist. I was like, no, I love it. But I was also like... I didn't want the brand to die, so. Yeah. But now, in retrospect, I'm like, wow. I she would have be caught dead in that. Yeah, she looks so dead-eyed. I don't know. This outfit is just not it. It's just... Yeah. I, I appreciate that there's, like, this little other piece that's not, like, printed on. But, like, these printed on bows. I'm not, like, a blue on Draculaire person. I'm a yellow on Draculaire yeah, person. all the way. Um, these, like, Selena bangs aren't cutting it for me. No. Um, she's just wrong. She's just so like dumbed down, mm -hmm. and then the like, roaring back to life with G three, yeah. um, Dracula, amazing doll. They did excellent work. On yeah, that. cause like holding G one dolls, they they just feel so fragile. Yeah, like now, cause I'm like the G three body is like so much thicker and sturdier, and I don't know. G one like, G ones are just like little statues for me now that like. I can't touch. Yeah. Um, just her brown eyebrows for some reason. Um, no, G1 Drac is still incredible. Probably one of my favorite signature dolls. Period. For sure. But I'm going to go with G3 in terms of everything. Oof. In terms of the shorter body, the proportions, the side swab glance, uh, better pet. Oh, let's look at the pets too. So here is original Count Drac. Camp Fab and new Camp Fab. For the most part, G3 is going to have the better pets out of all yeah, of them. Yeah, all of all of them because yeah. he's so cute. He's creepy. And then <laughs> Crescent turned from a cat into a wolf, Thank which God. is about time. It's so weird that Claudine had a cat. Yeah. But also it was funny. Probably another reason why Torla hated her ass. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with new Crescent too. Yeah. So who are you going with? G1 or G3? Or G2? Are you going with G2? No, never. Forever. <laughs> Oof. Only because I 
really, really just want the outfit for me, G1. You're gonna G1? Yeah. In terms of face, too? Uh, no. No, I like G3's face more, but I just, I can't, I can't, I pay full respects to G1 Jackie Laura. Oh, same, and, and, but like, I just think that Jackie Laura looks how she's supposed to now. Mm -hmm. And her nose is so cute on the G3. Yeah. Okay, Franklin. This one's gonna be kind of hard for me. Yeah. Uh, G2, again, another baby. This is not her original hairstyle. <laughs> um, there. This is not their original hairstyle. I had to redo it because they gave them the Generation 1 hairstyle when in the actual movies and artwork they had this hairstyle, so that was kind of annoying. Hmm. Uh, I was just like, laziness. Is G1 and 2 Frankie, they them too? No, but I just think it's easier to just do it now. Okay. I saw someone comment that, and I was just like, you know what, girl, you're right. <laughs> G-U-R-L. <laughs> like, you're right. It would just be easier to just say they. Not discrediting Frankie's she, her pronouns, but just, it's just easier. Yeah. And, like, there's no, like, big arguments. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a really soft spot for G1, Frankie, so... I do love... All the changes that they made to Frankie. I love the prosthetic limb, the non-binary aspect, the taller body that you can't really tell because they are, like, hunched over in, like, Frankenstein fashion. Plus, uh, no, like, height to their stand. Yeah, and these these ghouls have the, the Ray stand. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with G1 Frankie. In terms of alpha, in terms of face, this one. Yeah. I think G3, Frankie, gobbles them up. But I have a sauce... No, I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this. Yeah, I'm going G3, Frankie. That hurt, but I'm gonna go G3, Frankie. I didn't realize how hard this video was gonna be. Yeah, I was just like, oh, simple. No. G1. You're going G1? Yeah. You're making me rethink, but... No, no, I... I, I'm still going with G1, but G3 is just like pun, being being the hell out of G1. Yeah, honestly. like they're fighting. They're they're having they're having death match right now. Yeah, and Watsy each other. Oh yeah, pet. so Watsit became Watsy, mm. and Watsy is so much cuter yeah. than Watsit. Insanely cuter. Uh, Watsit's kind of ugly. But like cute, ugly. I still like he's, him. He's he's cutely. Mm -hmm. Watsy's just so adorable. They're such a chimera. Mm -hmm. I love them. Now Laguna. Laguna has three good dolls, though. Yeah. Like, Laguna looks excellent in every iteration. Did mm. they change her eye color in G2? Like, yeah, drastically. What the oh heck? <laughs> um, like, G2's face is actually really, really beautiful. No, Laguna got princess treatment. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still torn between G1 and G3. But Same. I'm... Uh, because I'm like, I love original Laguna a lot, but like pink Laguna. G3. Yeah, I'm going G3. <laughs> I'm going G3. That one's actually kind of easier. <laughs> yeah. But they're all beautiful. Like, this one's not good. I mean, they're all good dolls. But she's she just falls flat, and she falls flat, and she falls flat. Yeah. Like, G2 is just kind of like a bad dream right now. Yeah. Uh, G3 Neptuno wins too. Oh, yeah. Easy. Uh, Neptuno's ugly ass in there. <laughs> Neptuno ugliest pet. And now Neptuno's so, so adorable. Uh -huh. And, like, the chubby cheeks. What are you? I love you. I hold it. Yeah, I wish the tail was unfurled. Oh, I want a plush of that. Yeah, that'd be super adorable. Okay, now we're going to move Claudine so we can look at my man Deuce. And no, we didn't put them in front of Deuce. But no, we do not ship that. No. We hate it with all our heart. We, did, we didn't do it intentionally. We just did it because we wanted the main three next to each other. Yeah. If you're a clue shipper... Wrong. I don't know what to tell you. No, Cluse is Cleo and Deuce. If you're a Claw Deuce shipper, I don't know. Yeah. So, here is Deuce. I used to think that Generation 2 Deuce was, like, the end-all, be-all, most beautiful boy doll ever. <laughs> and now I'm like, what in the hell was I thinking? No, G3... G3 like, bodies both of them. Yeah, like, he doesn't look enough like a monster in either one of them. No. But now with, like, the green skin and, like, ugh, I don't know. He's... Let's take these off, honey. No, yeah, G3. <laughs> like, easy. I mean, G2 is monstrosity with his outfit. Yeah. I do like the boots, though, but, like, the pants and that shirt, monstrous. Not even... Pat. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Perseus, oh look at this burnt oh. little rat. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> little goblin. Yeah. This like little gut. <laughs> Hate him. Hate and like him. the shoes are just remarkably better. Like yeah. just checkered like uh, slip-ons. And then these are like the, the snake head and the emblems. It's yeah. so good. The fangs. And then here's Perseus. So cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. They just plussed everyone up. Like, the pits are bigger, and I love it. I think this is going to be the first time that the pet wins in G1, though. For uh, Cleo. Oh, you think? I think. No. Mm, I mean, we'll see. They're two different pets, so, you know, it's, like, hard... Yeah. It's hard to... Uh, like... To say, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, G3 deuce all the way. All the way. Easy. The easiest easy, yeah, easiest life. decision I've ever made in my whole life. <laughs> Okay, now let's move Frankie out of the way. Hey, Come on, Frankie, fine. <laughs> Cleo. Cleo's another hard one, I say. Yeah. Because her G2 doll also got princess treatment. Just not in terms of color, but in terms of face. Mm. So beautiful. Not that Dorito chip bag, though. <laughs> it's so awful. Mm. Stop doing it. Mm. What do you think? What are you oh, thinking? What are we thinking? Because... I love the lip color. I love the makeup and everything on G1. Yeah. If they had like... Oh, but I don't know. They've got like that little eye of Horus. And I love the gold strip on the lip. Yeah. I wish we just got more bandages. Like I know I that... Think... I know that she's bandaged, but I wish that they had like colored them. Like Laguna's yeah. legs. Like that they had like the mummy coloring. Maybe mm. I'll have Chris do that. Yeah. That'll be amazing, actually. Outfit-wise, G1. Doll-wise, G3. Yeah, th I was going to say the exact same thing. Okay. G1, <laughs> G1's outfit, for sure. 100% G1's outfit. And then G3's face yeah. and body. Mm. Uh, but G2's also really pretty. She looks really, really like gaunt and angular, though. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do love the bigger eyes that they gave Cleo. The, the Cleo, because like Cleo, Cleo's always had so much wonkiness. Yeah. And I think it had to do with like the smaller eyes that she had. Which is pretty funny considering that now G3 Cleo is like. Never I've wonky. never really seen a really wonky one, yeah. so. And I've seen quite a few in the store. So here are Cleo's pets, because Cleo does have two different ones. And from those leaks that we saw of those like locker uh, dolls, yeah. uh, Hissette and Tet are taking a selfie together. So Hissette's still here. So let me see. I want to see Hissette in Generation 3. Yeah. Because Hassette's amazing. Hissette's like so cute. in general, just Hassette is so so cute. Easily I best pet in G one? Besides Town Fab? In G one, I I think oh, no, Hassette, Dustin, and um Sir Hoots a lot are my favorite. Mm. So yeah, so what do you say? G one clothes, G two uh face and body. G three. G three, yeah. <laughs> face and body. Yeah, for sure. I can get down with that. Easy. <laughs> And now, Torlai. It should be Torlai. <laughs> um, G1, easy for me. Yeah. Like, I don't even have to discuss it. Just the outfit's better. Like, they should have given G3 pants. Yeah. Like, yeah. And got rid of the purple. Yeah. Mm, we don't need it. Um, She's red and orange. Yeah. Like her just red and orange. We need more red in her color story. Uh, the pet, though? Both lost. Uh, I'm going to go with G3, though. Because I, I don't like how realistic this one looks. Also, yeah. I cannot remember Torlai's <laughs> pet's name. You've to look it up. <laughs> yeah, I cannot for the life of me remember their name. The um, But yeah, I just think G1 Torlai all the way. Yeah, easy. Uh, I do love G3 Torlai's like, face and the bigger ears and stuff. Mm -hmm. But and like... New tail. Yeah, but like... Mm, no, she's just so pretty. If she had more stripes and... I don't know, a meaner expression, maybe, than yeah. Yeah. And then Gulia. Gulia's another very easy one for G1. me. G1. <laughs> the outfit, the color red, the payout. I don't even mind the green skin on G3 no. at all. I just think that red, just give her red. Like, yeah. she needs red, not pink. Mm -hmm. So that's another super... Her stand is red in G1. Yeah, please. <laughs> Gulia was like the red doll. Yeah. Gulia took up most of the spots in our original red doll video. Yeah. Wow, that was a little harder than it was because I'm like, did I mean to pick G3 Frankie over G1? <laughs> are, you, are you having second thoughts? This is hard, actually. As, like, you know, a Monster High fan for like 10 years mm -hmm. and having, like, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm like, what is, is it that easy to pick? With Laguna, yes. 
Yeah. I'm I'm sound with my Laguna decision, my Dracula decision. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But again, you don't even have to pick. This is just for fun. This is just yeah. for rankings. Like, we will always pay respect to Generation 1 and, mm-hmm. like, what it did and how it changed the doll world. Because Generation the... 1, what, say what you will, in, incredible yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Until, like, the end. Just, just uh, sort of teetering a little bit at the end. But... Yeah. But, like, we, we, we don't talk about that. Yeah, but That's we... Like the dark times. We, yeah, the dark times, you <laughs> too. But they're catching their footing and they're correcting so You're many running. Thi- yeah, Honestly, they, they are they ba- running. They got their balance and they start running. So let me know, your guys' rankings, not rankings, but, like, who your favorite is from every generation, you know? If you can pick. Yeah, if you think you can pick. Yeah. <laughs> um... Because some of these are harder than others. Yeah, like, Torlai and Glee were easy for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deuce was super easy. Mm-hmm. Cleo, we compromised, because I do like Generation 1 Cleo's outfits better. Yeah. But this doll... Insane. Mwah. Yeah. Claudine. Claudine. In terms of face, I think Claudine has a better face. Like, G3, but, like, clothes, I have to give it a G1. Mm-hmm. Dracula Lara, ugh. I'm just going to do a cop-out and not pick one for Dracula and Frankie. <laughs> They're tied. G1 and G2 are tied for me. And then Laguna. No, yeah, those were the hardest ones. Yeah. Easy. Let me know all your guys' thoughts in the comments. And who do you just hate? Like, yeah. And why? Nathan. Nathan Rot. <laughs> I know. He's like, imagine they bring back Nathan. I will literally, like, I'm alive. I'll riot. I'll yeah. Riot. <laughs> okay. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.